We're down to the newly promoted teams, Leeds United. A reminder, uh, with one of 22 founding members of the Premier League. Five major trophies to their name, including the 1992 top flight title Marcelo Bielsa. We saw him yesterday. He's managed at two World Cups. He's also managed at other big, big clubs as well. Athletic Bilbao, Marseille, Lille, uh, to name just a couple. And yesterday, Robbie Earl, we yeah. saw the Marcelo Bielsa yeah. leads, the style of play. Yeah. We talked about it at 7 a.m. this morning. Yeah. We all love seeing them go toe-to-toe yeah. -to -toe with Liverpool. And we think now, because they've played Liverpool, they've yeah. done it against the biggest teams, yeah. they're going to have the confidence to do that all season. Well, it's, it's a system that's ingrained. Bielsa comes into a football club, Rebecca, and says, forget everything you've ever done without any other coach this is what I'm going to do we're going to play out the back we're going to push people forward we're going to play through midfield overload areas and we're going to create chances and we saw it against Liverpool yesterday they're, they're going to be must watch TV for the rest of this season and everybody's been saying about can't wait to get Leeds United back in the Premier League yesterday showed you why that happens and, and as ex-players and players and fans everybody's got a Leeds story everybody tells you about either when they played Leeds when they went to Leeds what Leeds have done <laughs> I I've got a terrible lead story. Well, just, did you get relegated? <laughs> yeah, I got I relegated at Ellen Another relegation. Another relegation. <laughs> keeps going there. That's the same one. It's the same relegation. <laughs> fair, we don't bring it up. I know. You know. <laughs> but you said about stories of Leeds, so... Because they are, they are a great club. They yeah. do bring so much. And Marcelo Bielsa, just give us a quick insight into what we can oh, expect from him. Oh, blimey. Um, crazy interviews, like <laughs> weird actions. He, he even walks a bit funny. But his teams play <laughs> amazing back, football. Right? He's got, yeah, yeah, but his teams play amazing football. Brave <laughs> tactics. Mm. You know, that I think we're going to see all season long. There will be times they get, they probably lose four or five goals in a game. They, they're going to lose badly, but mm. I think they're going to win enough with that approach to be absolutely fine in the division um, because That's teams will be a bit, man, bit worried about the yeah. way that they played. I mean, that pure. was some silky stuff. It's great. Mm. He yeah. walks a bit funny, but Robbie Earl did say <laughs> he's, he's got, got a bad, bad back. back. Yeah. So, like by me, the way, like has me. Robbie Musso <laughs> right now. So, uh, <laughs> takes one to no one. West Bromwich Albion, <laughs> who are in action today against Leicester City. Quick reminder, because we haven't seen them in a couple of years. They were one of 12 founding members of the Football League back in 1888. Seven major trophies to their name, but the last one was back in 1968, which was the FA Cup. They won the League Cup in 66. Slavman Bilic, the former West Ham player, former West Ham manager, is now their manager. So Robbie Musto, West Brom are often seen as not one of the most exciting clubs right. because they've had managers, the Tony Pulises, the Roy Hodgson's even at times that don't excite you. Yep. Slavin Bilic is exciting. Different. Yeah, it's going to be different. I mean, I still think they're going to have a really tough season, but they've got young, exciting wingers. Mateus Pereira, mm -hmm. maybe the best player in the championship last yeah. year, 20 assists he got. He's going to be creative. Uh, Dean Garner, we've talked about, the former West Ham players, good in a wide area. It comes down to, to, to Charlie Austin and, and Hal Robson, whether they can get enough goals to stay up. But I, mm. you know, he admitted himself they're going to be counter-attacking a lot. That's the way it's going to be in the Premier League. So I just wonder if the strikers, Rob, have got enough pace to, to, to make advantage I, of I just hope this mentality as well. Norwich City came into the league last season and we're almost saying, well, if we go down, we'll be ready to come back up again. And, and West Brom have been the yo-yo club. And, and I'm saying yo-no. It's not like if you go down, don't always think you're going to come back up. Sometimes you're going to go down and stay down for a while. So you've worked hard to get in the Premier League. Mm. Give it a real good go. Don't, don't be talking about, well, we'll have parachute money and all that. Do your best to finish 17th. And Slavin Bilic's experience is going to be huge for this football club. Well, the other promoted team yesterday, Fulham, who lost to Arsenal. They did their best to try and stay up last time, but they spent a ton of money and went down again. This season will be their 15th in the Premier League. Owned by Shad Khan, who also owns the Jacksonville Jaguars in the NFL. Scott Parker is their manager. We saw, and we will bring you the highlights from that game against Arsenal yesterday, because it was ultimately, Robbie Earl, it was yeah. disappointing from Scott Parker and his yeah. men yesterday. What concerns you? They didn't lay a glove on, on Arsenal Football Club and, and Arsenal w w were good, but were allowed to be good. And my fear for Fulham all season is that they're a nice football club, Rebecca. And, and they've got to turn nasty. Teams have got to go to the cottage and not look forward to it and know they're going to be in for a game. And, and even if we, you get a win there, you come off the pitch saying, wow, you know, they really had a go. They, 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 did, they didn't try, well, not they didn't try, they, they didn't have anything that could p impose a problem to Arsenal, and Arsenal were comfortable 3-0 uh, winners. And, and when you haven't got the quality, mm. which they haven't, yeah. to be able to outplay a lot of teams, you yeah. need that something extra. And that's yeah. what we're talking about, yeah. some energy, some yeah. fire, something different, and mm. that's what we're concerned about. Scott Parker, coming into this season with the mantra of, we've got to be mentally tough, we're going to lose some games, we've got to bounce back, and that's fine, and that's what they didn't have a couple of seasons ago. Yeah. They spent a ton of money, got relegated. They haven't spent much money and still look like they're going to have a they difficult spend more season. Yeah, they October probably should. If they, back to Robbie's point about going down and come back up again, 
go for it. Spend some more money. It's difficult to say because they spent so much before in the Shard yeah. Khan and got relegated. He's thinking, well, do I need to do that again? It looks like he's not going to do it. OK, well, are they in amongst the relegation contenders? What do the bookmakers say this season? Well, the betting odds at points bet sportsbooks say Fulham are the most likely to be relegated this season. This was even before yesterday when they lost. If you place an $11 bet, you would win just 10 if they suffer the drop. And they already, as I say, lost 3-0 yesterday. West Brom, Aston Villa and Crystal Palace, the other favourites to be relegated. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern on NBCSN. And for more than 1,400 hours of exclusive Premier League content, make sure to visit nbcsports.com gold.